Hello, everyone. Hello, Josh and Paul. Welcome to Azotar. We're going to have a nice recording today about uh, Note 3. We're going to start with Josh recording about Note 3 V2, doing like an overview, and also going to see how can you use that on your pipeline. And then later we come with Paul and talk about ARM64. Uh, Josh, what do you have for us today? And if you are watching this channel for the first time, just hit the subscribe button and the notification ring bell as well and follow us. We, I'm Jorge Artero, I'm a Cloud Developer Advocate for Microsoft. I'm the founder of this channel. Josh and Paul are from my team. They're both Cloud Developer Advocates. Welcome to the channel. And Josh, tell me what are you going to show for us today? Sure. So today I've put together, I've been working on a little, a uh, couple of GitHub actions for Notary. So, or for Notation more specifically, Notary is a CNCF, uh, I think it's an incubation still um, phase project, but it's for digitally signing your container images and OCI compliant artifacts. So uh, other things that would fit in that bucket. I'm going to be focused on the container images and Docker container images. So I put together a sample that has a simple Go web app that sets up a static website um, that is a Docker container so that I can sign it. Um, and I put together a couple actions and a workflow to just demonstrate how you could use um, Notary and Notation CLI tool to sign the container that's hosted on Azure con uh, Container Registry or ACR. So that's what I'll show you today. Um, let me go ahead and what do you think, Paul? Interesting? Super oh. interesting. I mean, um, you know, the whole secure supply chain thing is, is really big. Uh, we've seen with a couple of uh, exploits. Um, Bad things can happen if you don't lock up your supply chain. So yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, so uh, here we have the the Azure Samples repo. So the name of it, if you're curious, is ACR Notary Sign Images Sample. Um, and I've gone ahead and kind of shake and baked this example and, and cloned it over and created a use this template and set it all up so we could see it. Um, but if you want to follow along on your own terms, the README walks through all the steps. Um, and I'll also send George a link to the three-part series where I uh, posted the same kind of readme on Dev2, but I added screenshots and a little bit more help um, for uh, walking through the different steps. Uh, but at a high level, there are a couple Azure resources um, that are deployed with Terraform. And so if we look at the Terraform, there's really just a couple configuration options or things that you need. You need a resource group um, that you can see here. You need uh, a key vault with some access policies, and you need a certificate um, inside the key vault, and then obviously a container registry. And why you need that is the, the key vault is holding the certificate that Notation uses to sign the containers, and then the container registry is obviously holding the, the Docker images that are being, being built by the pipeline and then being released there. Um, so that's all you need from the infrastructure standpoint. Um, so how to set that all up is all in the readme. Um, and then the next steps that you'll need, if we come over here and look at this. So this is a repository that I created uh, that was generated from the sample. So I just clicked that, use this repository to create this sample. And then you essentially just modify some of the files in here to get the action to run um, with your Azure subscription. Uh, but the first thing that you need to do after you've built the Azure environment or the resources you've deployed them is to create some secrets. Um, so that way you're not storing your secure values on how to authenticate to Azure inside the pipeline, uh, inside the workflow documents. You'll need uh, an Azure credential uh, because it's using the Azure login action. So that signs you in your subscription. Um, and that's one of the credentials. Um, and I can give links to that. So if you want to generate the security principle and there's a little snippet of JSON that you need that has your credentials that you would store in there. Um, but more interesting, and relating to Notary is the notation password and notation username. So the notation username is just the name of the token, the ACR token that's accessing the container registry through these credentials. And so the command line runner, so your the, the runner that's running your workflow will get notation installed, which is the CLI tool for Notary to sign container images, and it needs to authenticate to the registry. And it authenticates the registry with this token uh, that has a username and password. And what that looks like in Azure, so if you go to um, the deployed resources and I'll look at the container registry, there are uh, tokens that you can generate. So instead of using 
um, a service principle or something like that to access this, you can lock it down further with a token and give it a scope map, which limits the permission. So that would be equivalent to an RBAC policy uh, or role-based access control policy that you would have. Um, so here's the username right here, example token, and then the password was generated um, when I created it and I could see that password here if I wanted to. So that is the information that you need to populate the action secrets that are stored here. Um, so that's it for the secrets um, that are being pulled in the workflow. So let's take a look at the workflow before we go ahead and kick it off and, and look at that. Um, so that would be in the GitHub folder. And then if you go under workflows, um, there is this workflow for Docker images. And at first I'll just kind of walk through the steps of what it's doing, and then we'll take a little closer look at how it's doing that. Uh, so as I mentioned, it is using the Azure login action. And so that's taking that secret that you can see right here on line 15, and it's passing it to the action and it's logging you into your Azure subscription. The next one is it's checking out the repository. So it's downloading all the files of this repository to the runner. So that way you can it can have access to the Docker file that has the, the build instructions. Uh, and then I'm using just a bash or run step and I'm using the ACR build. So part of the, the Azure login installs the Azure CLI on the runner. Um, and then I'm using the Azure ACR build to actually build the container image from ACR and then push it there. So it's a way that you can kind of sidestep having to run the Docker local commands and then the push commands. Um, you can just run ACR build and it'll build and store it on ACR. Um, so in here, I could abstract these out and make these environment variables or secrets that pass in, but it's not super sensitive information. So I've left it um, just the name and the command lines. So here's the, the work that I've done with the, the setup notation CLI. So this is a custom action um, that configures notation for your runner. So there's a lot of things that you need to, you need to download the binary, you need to download um, extensions for it or plugins rather that allow it to communicate with ACR. So this particular action here, the setup notation uh, v010 takes care of that for you by passing in some of the values. So if we look at it, it's going to grab notation uh, 090 alpha 1. It's going to use the key name, so it's going to store on the runner a key for notation called example. And it's going to use this certificate ID. So it's using the certificate ID to reach out to the um, Azure Key Vault and pull down that certificate and to use, or really to identify that certificate. So when it goes to sign, it's going to reference it from Key Vault, sign the cert, post it to ACR. Um, the plugin name that's being installed is not Notation Azure Key Vault. Um, so that's the, the plugin extension that allows its notation to actually communicate to ACR. Uh, and then the version of that plugin. So that takes care of the notation set up on the GitHub action runner. Uh, and then the final step is really just the signing part. So this is where you pass in the environment variables of the username and password to the runner. So that way it can sign the remote registry uh, container images. So that's a workflow. Um, and if you were to clone this, some of the things that you'd have to replace that I have placeholders for would be uh, the registry name, because that's going to be unique to you, the key ID, uh, the key name, the certificate key ID, and then the key name. Uh, and then registry is also referenced down here for the container image. Um, so this will actually be what the image is. Uh, one thing to note, I guess, would be the uh, tag. So I'm just using the GitHub runner ID to create a random uh, you know, unique uh, tag every time it runs. You could put something in here, you could use a build counter or anything else that you wanted to use. Um, so that kind of wraps up the action. Josh, so, a quick question. Yeah, yeah. When you sign the means that you build the image, you get like a Docker file, then the Docker file is going to get the source code, build the application, build the container image. If you scroll down a little bit, yeah. then after you set in your node environment, you sign the image, like when you do Azure ACR build, you push in the image to the registry. Yes. Then just for, for the people to understand how Notary works, and then when you sign, you, you're doing some annotations on the existing image, is that correct? Yes, yep. Okay, you're not like rebuilding the image, like a, a sign an image is just like annotation 
on the existing image that's on the Azure Container Registry. Absolutely correct. Yes, good call out. Okay. It isn't rebuilding it when you sign it. It's just adding a, an artifact or annotation, as you mentioned, to the existing image in the Container Registry. Uh, and I think ACR is one of the um, one of the few registries that supports that um, that artifact, that digital signing artifact to be attached in um, on the image on the registry. Uh, I think Zot is another open source one that that uh, accepts the the signing artifacts to be attached to the image in the registry, but it does not um, create a new one. So the general idea behind it, though, if you if we take a big step back and we look at it, is we built this image and we want to sign it with some mechanism to validate that it is exactly what we expected it to be. And it's it was created by us and we want to have trust in this image. Uh, and so that's where the signature comes in, the digital signature. So that way, when you go to deploy this container image to something like uh, Kubernetes or AKS, you could use that image, uh, that signature to validate whether it should run on your cluster or not. Uh, but yes, good distinction. It does not recreate the image, it is just um, an annotation for the image that you can use to validate later down the line. And there is any policy, Azure policy, or, uh, that you can use to validate these when you deploy? You say, don't deploy any image that's not signed. Are we, like, Azure Defender for Cloud can do that. I'm not sure if you're going to show that, or maybe we leave that for another video. That would be a great another video because I would probably extend it quite a bit. Uh, but there is a combination with uh, using Gatekeeper and then another open source project called Ratify um, that uses the policy engine itself to 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 do that very thing, where you're blocking images that you've not added to the policy from running on your container, and then it it just monitors that and makes sure that the cluster doesn't deploy images that aren't uh, on the approved list or the allowed list. Very much like, you know, if you're familiar with firewall policies, like if you come from the source, we don't allow it kind of thing. Great, we do another video later to, to show yeah. that as well. That's great, that's a segue. But keep going, it's great. Hey, oh, yeah. I, I, had, I had one question, um, just looking at the syntax for the setup CLI, um, key name example, does that point back to something in your key vault? It does uh, semantically. Um, so mm -hmm. that's actually the name of the cert that I used. And so mm -hmm. the cert and key name typically match, but it doesn't actually matter um, from notation's perspective. It just would get confusing if you name the cert something else than mm -hmm. the key. Um, usually there's a pair there because you can also download the key um, to the runner or wherever notation is used and then use mm -hmm. the verify. So it will actually check the keys. Mm -hmm. It'll verify them or validate gotcha. rather. That's the proper word, validate. Um, but yeah, it should match. It's a kind of a one-to-one, -one, but yeah. Okay. Cool. Doesn't have to. <laughs> Good question. Any other ones before we move on to the action runner? No, let's move on. That right. sounds, looks great. So I'll just go ahead and rerun this. Um, if you were to change anything and then can't commit and push it. So if you change your Docker image and you want an increment, that's kind of what I'm simulating here. Um, so I'll just, I think I can rerun the workflow or maybe I actually have to make a change. No, rerun all jobs. So I'll rerun it and so we can see it go through the process. Um, and we'll see that it'll add another signature, even though it's running on the same image because the runner is creating a new tag and that new tag creates another image. Um, so I won't sign the existing image that's in my ACR. It'll create a new one because the tag for the image is different, but it'll also have a signature with it. Um, so if we click in build, we'll get to see it run. Or it logs into Azure, it's passing those credentials in. We'll see it check out the repository and then it's going to start to run the build and a bunch of output will come from, from the Docker file being built. The nice thing that that's not building uh, on GitHub is building on Azure Container Registry, just to make sure that you only see the log there, but it's not running inside the, the runner, the GitHub Actions runner, it's running on ACR. Yep. Yeah, that's that's super handy. <laughs> it saved me a little bit of trouble with having to figure out how to pass the values and creds to the, the Docker commands, because you could do, you know, Docker, Docker build, Docker push, and if you were signed in, with the Docker, um, the Docker commands to ACR, you could do that, uh, but that was a little bit harder to set up. Where the 
AZ, with AZ CLI, it just shares the creds with AZ login and it made it a lot easier for the action. Um, so now it already finished setting up the runner for notation and it's signing the image. And there we go. So if we look at this, it should tells me the things that it passed in. So it passed in the notation, username, and password, which are blanked out. Um, and then it also said that it finished the signature. Um, so if we go over to Azure, the Azure portal, zoom in a little bit so we can see it better. I'll go back to my resource group and we'll just take a look at the container registry to make sure that I have two images with different tags and those tags have signatures. Um, so here I am in my ACR resource. If I go down to repositories, um, I have the repository for the web app. So this is the name of the image, and then we should see entries for the tags. So web app sample, and I've got one tag. So maybe I deleted the runner before the previous one. So anyway, here we have the manifest. So this is the Docker manifest, when it was created and all that good stuff. So two minutes ago. And if we preview it, there's the actual signature artifact. And then there's the, the SHA that we have for that annotation. Um, and I said we should have expected to, forgot that I deleted the previous one from the old runner. So that was manually done. There was no, no magic behind that. I just deleted it when I was demoing it before. So here's the new one. We saw that with the timestamp. And now we have uh, the annotation that's stored now in ACR with this image that we could use to validate um, later down in the supply chain. So that's it. That's the GitHub Action Workflow. That's Again, uh, yeah, the sample repo is here under Azure Samples. You can use this repository to create a clone and then follow the README and replicate everything I did here on this demo. That pretty much you can use on any pipeline you know, that you build have a Docker file that you're going to build your yeah. image using Azure Container Registry. That's pretty much the same similar pipeline that we use uh, when you use something called Draft, AZ Draft, AKS Draft. They all generate workflows where we use AK, uh, ACI Build. You can just adapt and using you know your repository and adapt your workflow to use the same thing and to sign the image. Any final question, Paul? You are on mute. Muted. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't have any questions. I, I was just saying I'm looking forward to part two uh, to see when you actually enforce the signature <laughs> on your on your container deployment. So I'll start working on it. Yeah. Yeah, the the, the Azure policy now is all integrated with, uh, you know, the open source products that runs on, on AKS and means that you can apply a lot of policies, including Josh. I think you can do a custom policy and you could do anything. You know, we could validate anything. And um, there is a way to to enforce a container image from ACR. But the next step will be has to be from ACR, your ACR instance, and it also has to be signed. There's another another check that you're going to do it. And you make sure that only uh, container image from ACI and sign you'll be deploying in your classes. And that's we're just bringing all the you know, levels of security, I think, and that increased the whole security, you know, checks that we have for the classes. But the next step here, we can even stop here and but keep falling. You're going to come back now with Paul soon. Mm -hmm. And Paul is going to talk about ARM64 node pools. That's GA now, that's available. And I think it's a good segue. Then, if you ha now have your container image safe, sign, how can we deploy? And, well, maybe we have to come back and put like ARM64 build on the Josh <laughs> pipeline. <Yeah>. And let's <laughs> yeah. see. That's your next, that's your second video is like to do like a sign ARM64 deployment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, my, my build process is a little bit different because I'm using different tooling, um, but I'll, I'll show you what that build process looks like. Okay. Then save your files and come back soon. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you.